So my sense of uh, today's proceedings was that it was a very good survey of all the available tools on thinking about technology portfolios and innovation portfolios. So um, for those who talk about the company as a set of technologies, today's proceedings kind of laid out a few different ways of thinking about it, starting with a product mapping and a technology mapping to an innovation uh, portfolio of options, and then to an innovation tournament where you put the ideas together and then map them onto different levels of uncertainty. So I think there were three main tools that we had. And then we also heard from the last speaker who was a venture capitalist who was essentially saying that for his decision making, he felt that he had to take each venture on its own merits and not worry so much about the portfolio. So I think that was a very rich set of insights. And for me, it suggests that if you're a venture capitalist, probably you should go with the actual technology itself and the, and the merit of the venture because you'll only have a few investments and he was saying that if he has 30 investments, he's reasonably hedged. So that's one sort of category of insights. If you're running a large corporation, then you need to decide how to allocate resources. So you're going to have to then think about which technologies are more promising and why. And I think in that sense, the real options idea of looking at some options that are relatively close to home in technology and in market and some options that are further from home and a, and a kind of a mix of those is sort of a second insight. And then the third insight where there was a lot of debate was that for those that are in brand new markets and brand new technologies, maybe firms have to be very cautious. And this is where I think we connected with the previous conference and said that in those kinds of uh, investments, you should probably have an ecosystem of partners so that you can actually work with a set of collaborators and as the uncertainty begins to resolve, then you decide what you want to own and where you want to invest. So I think those were the main insights. So I think the venture capital perspective was very much on the creating front. You know, that how do you, you assess the entrepreneur, you, you have those six uh, different types of customers he was talking about, you know, and of course that was in healthcare, but I think in most markets you would have some of those customers. You'll have possible future investors. You have, of course, the current customers who might be present, uh, the customers whenever the product gets to the market. You have possible collaborators, you have regulators. I think he had two more, the payers and um, other possible partners. So I think in selecting innovations, I would say that what matters most is the venture itself and how robust it is. And some of that has to do with the entrepreneur himself or herself. And some of it has to do with this mapping. So, so that's one. The other insight that we got was if you map the technologies that are underlying the business, you might see sources of technologies in other people's uh, firms uh, portfolios. It could be outsiders or industry incumbents and then you can source them. So that's the selecting part. We have two ideas on selecting. Um, the venture capitalist idea and this mapping of the tree idea. And then when it comes to managing, I think what we learned was that you have to map, you have to make sure you have a balanced portfolio. You cannot just have all uh, products and technologies close to home. And you, prob you probably should not invest in too many things that are new uh, to the world and highly uncertain. Um, so I think in managing, you also have to take into account your circumstances. So that's the other thing we heard, that if your circumstances are such that you can afford to put some risk capital out, there was a lot of discussion around exploration in the oil and the pharma industry and how uh, if you are able to explore effectively then that can become part of managing, that you, you invest in a lot of startups, but you know how to then scale up. I think the last point I'll make is uh, what was said at the end on managing, which is that you once you select the venture, then you are there with it. You know, you have to add value, hustle and add value. I think that was a nice uh, closing statement. <laughs>